Hi kids, Uncle Derek's back. It's always so exciting to come on here and read to you guys. And I have another exciting story for you. It's called Bling Bling. Blaine. Throw glitter, not shade. Hope you guys enjoy it. Bling Blaine. Throw glitter, not shade. Blaine loved to shine. Well, actually, he loved to sparkle. Blaine was all about the bling. Throw glitter, not shade, he always said. He embellished his school uniform. He bedazzled his book bag. He added sequins to his baseball cap. Even his eyes twinkled. Blaine was a shining star everywhere he went. He spread happiness like confetti, especially at Freedom Elementary School. For the t-ball game, he glued rhinestones to the team jersey and handed out shimmery sneaker laces and whacked a home run. Who's that? A new kid asked. That's Blaine, Sue replied, our flashiest player. What's with the glitz? Blaine loves bling, Sue said, just like I love orange. Blaine hung dazzling Rita book posters in the library, gave a metallic bookmark to each kid at checkout time, and stuck glossy stickers to their shirt. A library volunteer stared. Who's that kid? That's Blaine, Alberto said. The brightest kid at school. Why is he dressed like that? Blaine wears bling like I wear high tops. At Bring Your Family to Movie Night, Blaine sewed spangles to his suspenders, added tinsel to the concession stand, and served cupcakes with sparkly sparkles. Who's he? Marvin's sister asked. That's Blaine, the snazziest kid around. Why is he so glimmery? Blaine's into bling, Marvin replied, like I'm into hoodies. But bling seemed to rub some people the wrong way. Blaine overheard Marvin's sister say, only girls wear sparkles. He saw the library volunteer roll her eyes at the sight of his favorite glitzy beads. And when the new kid pushed him and said, sissy, Blaine felt it on the outside and the inside. That's shade, not glitter, Blaine thought. But maybe they're right. It was a dark day for Blaine. On Monday, Blaine was blingless. Not one bead, bobble, or bangle. T-ball was totally blingless, too. Tuesday, there was no bling in the library. Everyone checked out instead of checking out. And on Wednesday, zip, zilch, no bling. The family dance-a-thon was a big zero, too. School is so blah, Sue moaned. So bland, Alberto mumbled. So boring, Marvin muttered. Without bling, Freedom Elementary School was losing its shine. And so was Blaine. Even the twinkle in his eye was gone. Something had to be done. So, the next morning in the library, Marvin pulled off his hoodie, showing off a vest glistening with glitter. Sparkles are for girls, his sister said. Boys can wear bling, Alberto replied, rolling up the legs of his pants and unveiling his sequence covered socks. The library volunteer stared. Blaine did too. Sparkles and bling are for everyone, said Sue, as she slid off her sweater, revealing a jeweled-covered t-shirt. You're all a bunch of... The new kid started to say, 
Then he looked around the library. Blaine's eyes twinkled. You guys like Bling too, he asked. We're your friends, answered Sue. Your pals, Alberto said. If you like Bling, Marvin began, then we all like Bling. Bling, 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 the students started shouting. Blaine felt sparkly on the inside and the outside. Sue and Alberto talked with the library volunteer. Marvin had a sit-down meeting with his sister, and Blaine gave a sparkly gift to the new kid. His name was Walter. Thanks, Walter said. He smiled just a little. From that day on, everyone was free to be themselves at Freedom Elementary. Always remember, said Blaine, throw glitter, not shade, the other kids cheered. <laughs> Becoming an ally. The definition of an ally, kids, a person or group associated with another or with others for a common cause or purpose. A person who cooperates with another, supporter, friend. Now, you guys want to know how to be an ally? I'm going to read a little bit on how you can do that. How to be an ally. Allies always step, step, stand up for what is right. They come to the defense of others. They speak up when others are quiet. They tell others where there is a problem. The L stands for learn what is important to other person. The person for whom you are an ally knows what is important to him, her, or them. All you have to do is ask. Remember, as an ally, it's not about you. It's about the other person. The second L in ally, listen, listen, listen. To be an effective ally, you must listen. Listen to words, but also listen to body language and emotions. Listening means you are interested in what a person has to say and what the person feels. And the Y in ally stands for, you don't have to be perfect, but keep trying. As an ally, you will always be learning. You won't always get it right. When you know you have let someone down, apologize and ask them how you can do better next time. Then try again. The end. So guys, just realize that just because someone looks different or dresses different, they're just like you and they have feelings too. We should be accepting of all people. All right, guys. Take care. See you next time. Bye.